Hi, I'm Cheryl Williams, and today we are going to learn about how to use Deep Dream Generator. And it's a web application. It's not an app for your phone, or you can get on the web with your iPad, but it's not an app. It's a web application. And so this is the website, is deepdreamgenerator.com. And the first thing that I want to talk about is looking at the website itself. So the first thing that it comes to, this is called the gallery. And these are dreams that people have created. And what you can see is what was their original image, what was the style that they used, and the dream that they created. So you can scroll through here to see a lot of really neat dreams. And one of the things I like to do is go up here. You can see what is trending, what is the latest, and what's the best. Now, how is something trended? Well, once you join Deep Dream, you can vote and you can say that you like something. And so that gives it points. And those points will let it know what's newly trending. And if you go to the best, those are the ones that have won the most points. If you go to the latest, those are the most current. Now these are only those that have been marked public. So if you don't want your dream to show up in here when you generate it, you just leave it on private. But we'll look at that too in a little bit. That's pretty cool. Okay. And then feed is if you follow people, then you'll see those, their dreams in this feed. So that's the first place that it looks. Now, when you click on generate, this takes you to the generator. And it really should be called generator rather than generate here. But we're just going to go ahead and click on there. And this is where you go through the process to create your own dreams. And then you can also look at your account. So I'm going to click on my name. And there's things that you can do when you set up an account. So first of all, it's free. And if you go into edit your profile, you can put up a photo. You can put a cover photo. You put in your name and your email. You can put some other things in here too. Um, you can enter a password if you want. Short bio. So if you're going to be generating dreams and make those available for the public to see, you probably do want to go ahead and put some things in your profile. So your profile is just where your name is. And we're going to go back to the generator. Okay, so let's look at the generator. The generator is made up of an image. And so these are the images that I've uploaded. And a style. And what the computer does is it combines elements of the original reference photo, which is your image, with whatever style, which sometimes I call it a filter, but they call it a style and combines those together to create a dream. So you want to go ahead and first of all upload an image. So when you start out you're not going to have any images in here. Um, I've got several so I can go ahead and click on it and pick those images that I want to work on. So you start out with upload image. And then you can go ahead and decide um, Let's just pick one. Okay. You can select something out of your images that you have on your computer. So now we have an image that's uploaded. So that's really very simple. The next part is to select a style. And at this point, we're just going to use a default. So these all show the same 
painting, but done with different textures and different colors. And then the next section on the screen is settings. And when you start out, we're just going to stay away from that. But that allows you to set up um, ranges that you want the, um, the computer to calculate all this. And then you can say keep it private or make it public. So you can even generate one and then if you think you really like it, you can make it public. And then you click on generate. And the generating process is what makes it combine this image with this style. And it's slow. It can take 10 minutes to do this. Um, there's a lot going on. And so you'll see a screen that'll show you the percentage that it's complete. And depending on your internet traffic and lots of other things, it's going to take a certain amount of time to actually generate the image. So I'll go ahead and put this on pause. So this is the image that was generated. And actually, it's not too bad. Um, it usually takes me about six different tries to find something that I like. And the idea is this is something that you would then use to paint your own painting. So to give you some ideas of different ways of changing your reference photos, changing textures and changing styles. So let's look at styles. So I'm going to go back to the generator. And we use the default styles. So we picked one out of here. And they have um, deep styles and then thin styles. I'm not quite sure. It just looks like it's not as involved. And then there's something else that's deep dream. And I don't know what that is. So we're just going to stay over here with deep style. But under deep style, there are my styles and popular styles. So when you start out, you won't have anything in my styles yet. But I'm going to click here and these are all of the different styles that I have saved. And you'll notice there's just four rows of six. Well, I know that I have more styles than that. Um, so if I click on my picture, my account, you'll see over here, here are my dreams that I've created. And here is an item called styles. Well, these are all the styles that I've saved. And we'll talk about where you get them in a minute. But if there's any one of these styles, and I've got a couple pages of them, that you want to go ahead and use, then you go ahead and just click on the style and you'll notice there's a little brush and it says use. So now you'll notice it shows the style we selected, but it doesn't have the image yet. So let me just go back to say, we'll talk about how to use your style when you selected it. I'm going to go back to the generator. So those were my styles, and you can either pick them just by clicking on it, out of this screen that shows 24 or you can go to your account styles and click on use and that selects the style so that's how you use your styles now how do you get a new style up there under default styles you'll notice there's a box here with an arrow it's not there on my or popular, but this lets you go ahead and select a file off of your computer and that has uploaded that style. This style isn't saved until you generate it with something. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that same picture again of my family and we're going to generate it. And once we generate it, 
then it saves it into my styles. So this turned out really pretty neat. I like the colors. Of course, I love the photograph. Glasses are pretty cool. All right, but anyway. So then how do you use, so that was using my styles. If I go over to my styles, here's this little painting that I did for a Graham Berry class. And that's what was used in that picture. And now it's saved in my styles, but if I hadn't generated it, it wouldn't save it. Okay, now we've got popular styles. And these change, I think, every day. I'm not sure, but this is something that'll keep you coming back into the site. And we saw that owl that was used on that one in the gallery. So generally what I look at for styles is a color theme that I like. Um, you'll notice some of these are combinations of multiple styles. So if you can make multiple styles in one image, it will use that, I'm going to call it a compound style to create it. So maybe you have a place of your painting where it's dark and another place that you want to be light. And so maybe you want to use an immature, well, this one's it's light on this side and then it's darker on the right hand side. So that's how you use popular styles. And then there's ways to use those that are in the gallery. So if we click on here where it says Deep Dream Generator, that takes you to the gallery. So you'll see in these images, Let's say you like this one. Well, notice there's a little plus symbol there. So this will copy this style to your styles. Click on OK. So if we want to see if it's in our styles, we can click on either generator because it's a new one, it's going to put it in front, or you can look at your My Accounts. So here's My Styles and that guy was added. So now we have another style that we can use. So you can use the default styles. You can upload your own styles. You can save styles um, from the gallery and you can look at popular styles. So there's lots and lots of ways to find a style to use. So the last thing that I wanna show you today is how to download this fabulous image that you've created so that you can paint it. So go into, click on your name and you will see the different dreams that you've created. And click on the created image and you'll notice in the upper left it if you click on it, it has, this is the original photo. This is the style that was used. And this is the finished image. This way, okay. So when you first click on this, you'll notice there's a download button. And and really what it does, it just puts it in a format you can download. So then you right click, save image as, give the file a name, and save it. And it opened up in a new tab. So let's go back to this tab. You'll notice when you click on the original, there is a place to download the original, but when you click on it, it takes you to your dream. It doesn't take you to download the original. And so if you wanted to download your style, 
What I suggest is just do a screenshot of it. And then you've got that in your files. So that's what we're going to want to do. Go back. Okay. And let's go here. So I hope that this introduction to Deep Dream Generator is everything you need to start creating some dreams. And let me suggest um, go ahead and create some and let's share it in our conference group so you guys can see um, what you're creating. And if there's one that you really like, you know, perhaps share your style with us. What I like to do is when I save a style, I always say that it's from, and this is the person. And if you really like this one, you can also click on this person's name and it will take you to their page and it will show you all of their public images that they've created. And again, when you see these items, they're really, really beautiful. And they give you a lot of create, creative ideas of what you might want to do. So you can see what they have that's in the best. What do they have that's in the latest. I notice you can't save the style from this person's page. So just go back to the gallery. This was in the best. And here's where you get that plus to save that style. So I'm always learning new things about this program all the time. Now, um, I will also give you a link down below to learn way more about using Deep Dream Generator. Um, there's a great tutorial from steamit.com. So I'll put that link down below for you and I'll put it in text here in our video.